Hello guys, want to learn how to make websites? I use Django to make my websites authenticated and secure. This is Krish. In this tutorial, we are going to start the series of how to make websites using the Django framework. So, let's get started. If we want to work with Django, we need Python to be installed in our systems because it is a web framework for python if you don't have python go to www.python.org downloads and install the latest version once you have installed open your command prompt and enter pip install django and wait for the packages to download in this series we are doing the hospital management system using the django framework after you have installed Django, we are ready to start our project. To start our project in Django, open your command prompt and move to the directory where you want to save the project. Now, the command to start our project in Django is django-admin start project space your project name. In this case, I will take my project name as hospital management system and click enter. And navigate to the directory and check for the folder which you have created as project. And yes, you have completed the first step in your project. There are still two more things left to complete the first step. Open your command prompt and move to the project folder which you have created. So for that, I'll enter CD space hospital management system. And now enter DIR and see what it gives. As you can see, there is a file called manage.py which is very important for our project to run on the server. As of now, we have not started any coding for our website, but you can view how our project is running at our server. So for that, we need to enter python manage.py runs server. And the moment you say enter, you got your server up and also we have a link here to view what is happening at the server which is basically the local host with port 8000. Now open your browser and paste the link. As we can see, we got the Django homepage because as of now, we have not started our coding for this website. Alright, as you can see Django says the install works successfully. Congratulations. And now let's get into our two more things left for our project. If you are creating a big website and want to handle your pages in a systematic way, you can create some apps accordingly as per your choice. So for our project, I'll create an app which is named as hospital. For that, I go to my command prompt and stop the server. To stop the server, we use Ctrl plus C. And now to create our new app, we enter the command which is a python manage.py start app space the app name hospital. The command gives you another folder in your project. As you can see, you have created your app too. Great. And we have left with one more thing. As of now, we have created our project and also our app. Now we have to tell our project that we have an app with the name hospital, which should also run on the server with the project. So for that, I use a text editor sublime and open the project folder. In your project, you will see a file called settings.py. Scroll down the file and you can see a variable as install apps. Go ahead and enter the app name you have created under this list. Save the file and yes, you have completed the first step of your website in Django. That's it for now. See you in the next lecture.